since we're gonna be working together, I reckon it's time we start drinking together. Brokeback Mountain screenwriter Diana Osana recently revealed who almost starred in the Oscar-winning movie and how she had to fight for actor Heath Ledger. During the break of a double feature at Santa Monica's Aero Theater featuring screenings of Philadelphia and Brokeback Mountain, respective screenwriters Ron Nicewanner and Osana sat down for a Q&A that included a gossip session about casting. Oscar-winning writer Osana dished about the difficult eight-year process of getting her film made and how during that time she witnessed a long line of prominent young actors hop on and hop off the project, known around town as a gay cowboy movie. She said of the film, nobody would commit. At one time, it looked like it was close to going forward with director Gus Van Sant and stars Matt Damon and Joaquin Phoenix. Mark Wahlberg was also considered at one point. She revealed, we sent it to Edward Norton to direct and Joel Schumacher and dozens of people and they all came back saying they loved it but no one would commit. They didn't give us any real excuse why they wouldn't. I guess they saw it as too difficult. Though Osana didn't drop any more names, she did reveal how badly she wanted Heath Ledger for the Ennis role, even if the studio Focus Features had other ideas. She said, Nobody wanted Heath but me and co-writer Larry McMurtry. The studio felt he wasn't macho enough. But when another actor dropped out after being on board for nearly six months, Osana ran back to Ledger's representatives. He eventually signed on with a little nudge from his then-girlfriend Naomi Watts. She revealed, Heath read it on the way home to Australia, and he said Naomi read it and she was jumping up and down on the bed telling him you've got to do this role for all kinds of reasons, for your career and for the world. She added, it was a battle to get him, but boy was it worth it. You know, it could be like this, just like this always. This thing grabs hold of us in the wrong place, and we're dead. Osana even teased, maybe I'll write a book about it someday, about who committed and backed out. As for Nice Swanner, he revealed that the role of Andy in Philadelphia that won Tom Hanks an Oscar nearly went to another Oscar favorite. We wanted Daniel Day-Lewis, and Daniel passed. He added, I love him and he's a genius, but I'm so glad he passed. For more on this story, check out the latest issue of The Hollywood Reporter and THR.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.